let's go upstairs. Today I'm going to give Molly a bath and show you guys how we bathe our cats. The first thing that I did was run the bath water. I made sure the water was lukewarm, not too hot, not too cold. And I like to run the water before I bring our cats in for a bath so that the sound of the water running doesn't scare them. Then I get some stuff ready, so Molly is in here. And then there's her towel to dry her off after the bath. There's her shampoo that's designed for cats, and she gets a treat afterwards just for being good. Even if she doesn't do a good job, I still will give her a treat so that her bath is not a negative thing and it's something she can look forward to. I know some of you are probably thinking, why are you bathing your cat? Cats don't need baths, that's mean. Um, but this is our personal decision. We have bathed our cats since the day we brought them home, we have given them baths every few months. We like to give our cats baths every few months for several reasons. We like to get them used to baths so that when they get a bath when they're older, they don't freak out. So they've gotten baths every few months ever since they were kittens. Cats are very clean animals, but they still step in a dirty litter box every day. And we do clean our litter box every day. Also, if you ever bring your cat outside and for some reason they get a little muddy or a little dirty, it's good to give them a bath when you get home. So it's a good idea to get your cat used to baths when they're young and that way they won't freak out if you decide to give them a bath for the first time when they're like five years old, for example. We also like to give our cats baths so they will be clean and their fur will be soft. We do have a video on our channel already of Molly getting a bath when we first brought her home, that was her very first bath with us. And I will put a little clip from that video here so you guys can see it. We've given Molly and our other cats several baths since we've had them and they all do pretty well. I would say Molly does the best. Um, Susie and Annie are still getting used to it, but they definitely are improving and I can see that. Because Molly is a long-haired cat, she tends to get poop stuck when she goes to the bathroom and her fur back here. So we're going to trim that after her bath. This is definitely one of the cons of owning a Maine Coon cat is that they will get poop stuck back here where they go to the bathroom. So you just have to trim it every few weeks and then you won't have to deal with it. But we haven't trimmed Molly's in a few months because we've just been really busy this summer. So we're gonna trim this after her bath today and then her fur will be a lot shorter back here. So when she goes to the bathroom, she won't get uh, like poop chunks stuck to the back of it. Okay, so the first thing we do is we put Molly in the tub and she will just get used to it for a second and then I will put water all over her, soak her body in the tub and we try to keep her calm by petting her and talking to her in a sweet tone. Good job, Mani. Okay, and then turn your body this way. You also want to make sure that your water is not too high so your cat can lift its head. You never want to get your cat's head wet under the water. You want to make sure their ears stay dry and their face, basically. So I'm just going to splash water on Molly. Here, Molly, let's move you over here. You're doing so good. Yeah. Good job, Molly. You're going to get a treat out they might not like the sound of this water splashing. You could also use a cup or something to pour it, but I just like to do this. I just think it's easier. Okay, and then once your cat is all wet, what you wanna do is get the shampoo, and you wanna do this as fast as you possibly can. I'm gonna grab the shampoo that we have that's designed for cats, and I'm just gonna pour some on her back. Good job, Money. 
And then I'm just going to massage it into her fur. And Molly has really long fur, so I'm probably going to have to do this twice, maybe even three times, just to make sure I get all of the different spots of her body. Okay, okay Molly. So I'm just going to massage this. And you want to massage it gently. Think of how it feels when you massage shampoo into your hair. You don't want to do it too rough for your cat. And then you just massage it all over. Give you some more, Molly. Good job. Yeah. You're doing so good. And then you also don't want to forget to get her tail. Not sure if I want to show you guys this, but you also want to get their butt. Okay. Come back over here. Good job, Molly. Okay. So just massage that in. And we're almost done. Also, Molly is has quite the mane now. So I want to be sure to get her mane. Done. Don't want to forget the neck or the chest and the underbelly. If I was running the water right now from the tub, Molly would definitely be very scared. So it's important to make this as calming as you can for your cat. People always say, why is your cat so calm when you give it a bath? It's not just because she's a Maine Coon. It's because we take the right steps to make sure that this is not a stressful thing for her. And that we also have been doing this since Molly was just a really young kitten. So she's used to this. Okay, I'm not going to do a super thorough job because I'm just doing a video of this. So now that I've got the shampoo all over her body, I'm just going to rinse her. So I'm just going to splash the water again like I did in the beginning. Good job, Molly. Okay. Stay put now. I know this is scary. It's loud. Molly doesn't like loud splashes or loud noises. It's okay. We're almost done. Good job. Good job. You are doing, oh, I've got a little in her ear there. You are doing so good. I just want to make sure that I'm getting all of the soap out of her fur before I take her out of the bath. I barely got her head wet. As you can see, her head and her ears are still dry. And then I just slash her chest. Good job, Mahdi. Good job. Oh, got your face a little bit there. Sorry. Okay. And then I feel like she's all done now. We've got all this soap shampoo out. So what I'm going to do is grab the towel. Okay, so Molly's soaking wet now. Put her on the towel, and then I just dry her, wrap her up in this so she feels nice and cozy, and then I'm just going to dry her. This might take me a while, so I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing. Molly is a big cat, and she has a lot of fur. Um, and then we're going to trim her, the back of her fur, like I told you guys earlier, and then we'll give her a treat. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video.